salute soldiers and soldierettes and i hope you can see me well and excuse me if you, if you can't real good but it's about the message thank you for joining to another ebx discussion and i don't know i know it's a little repetitive but we're living in weird times so i always got to call down that protection for my great creator protection for ourselves from ourselves let's give honor to those who have passed our ancestors present past future May my dad rest in peace and in power. I give honor to my mom. And may a, a recent family member, my cousin, may she rest in peace and in power. And my grandparents, may they rest in peace and in power. Let's never forget those that have passed, especially if they were connected to us. And I'm here today to talk about success is a state of mind. And this is part two because I made one video on it and I want to get into this deep and the spirit never lies and uh, welcome my brothers and sisters for joining in I'll give you another one salute and success is a state of mind and what is what is success to you excuse me put this up just a little bit because I want y'all to see and uh, you know maintaining uh, a success of a state of mind it's not an easy thing to do but once you know, and how do you know that you have reached that state is the results. I will always say that. Results is what will motivate you and keep you going and keep you reaching others, male or female. And find a space in your life where you resonate, where you can go to yourself and work things out and deal with challenges that we come, that we come across. Because this is where I resonate nature you know sometimes you just got to get away and come into your own work things out come back out so you'll be stronger and you'll be able to help who's ever connected to you whether it's family friends children you know and and yourself of course because the spirit never lies and this is for my young youth my young brothers and sisters the spirit never lies and this is for my older brothers and sisters too listen to that spirit and and I've come the reason why I come to this you know listening to your spirit and because this it can be heartbreaking sometimes when you have to cut you know maybe kind of distance yourself from certain individuals you know it doesn't mean you hate them or you got anger or you got envy or nothing like that but if you want to be the best of yourself you have to have those moments of solitude you know and make sure you don't get off track and listen to that spirit and be quiet sometimes sometimes don't talk take those moments because you know I, I will i probably say this a lot you know none of us none of us are perfect but we have those moments you i mean you ever have those moments where whether it's a week a day a month a year where everything's going smooth and nothing goes wrong those are the moments that you grow and that's that's when you study discernment and that's the best time when you meditate because it will help you to anticipate what will come because it's not that you're looking for a storm or something to happen it's that you're keeping yourself ready and that's what keeps you balanced and i think that's what makes things go smooth it's not that things are not happening it's just that things are not affecting you as much when you pay attention to your spirit and that is uh a, uh, success that is the success that's the ultimate success conquering your mind because it's something uh, something else you always hear me say the body always follows the mind so that's where that's why we can't act on our impulses you know before we assess someone or you know maybe kind of lightweight judge someone look at ourselves first make sure we're doing everything we're supposed to be because one believes, one not believe, one knows. I study law of attraction. So when you start studying law of attraction and you start seeing results, you will be very careful of how you pick your battles. And if you had a if you've had enough of woulda, coulda, shoulda's in your life, you'll anticipate everything. You'll you'll analyze everything that you come across. And this is for male or female. And it's a beautiful thing when you finally get a hold of that inner peace. Because once you do, you're not going to let nothing take that away from you. I mean nothing. I don't care who it is, what it is. Because that's something else I'm learning in this life. 
anybody can be wrong. I don't care who they are. I can be wrong. You can be wrong. Who we listen to can be wrong. The the beautiful the, the thing is is knowing when you're wrong. And I you know like here recently in, in my family you know I had a cousin call me out on something you know and I accepted it because it was dealing with it was dealing with a passing of a loved one and that's a very you know that's a very sensitive thing and it's very that's I don't play with that. that's one thing I don't play with I don't play with that I don't joke about it nothing so and you know she might have been maybe somewhat angry because that was her you know she was close to her she was more close to her than me so I have to respect that and the things that she you know asked me I said okay I'll do it I didn't get mad I even told her I still love her and, and that's how you motivate and you know we because I know the system like I say this Christian belief system that we all come up in my black people we we come up through that and we are so reactionary and we're used to people reacting the same way so you know maybe I taught her something maybe I changed something in her by not reacting to that because I overstand where it was coming from and you know you keep that love going because it's family you know we're, we're not always going to get along with family sometimes we're going to disagree but they're still family and even if you do have to be from a distance still love them still keep them in your spirit because we we don't want to get you know because a lot of us have gotten where we're awakened and we are educated and we're enlightened and but we gotta we gotta remember every, not everyone's on that level you know, everybody don't have that, that state of success like we do, you know, like a lot of us do. So I, I tend to overstand that a lot more and more because I was at that space where I didn't overstand. And I'm, I'm still learning. You know, you never stop learning. So I always think about that. Uh, you know, that not everybody is going to think the way we do. So, and, and this will help you. This what makes those, I'm bringing all this up because that's what brings those moments where it seems like everything's going smooth. It's like, it's like nothing's happening. And when, when, you're, when the challenge do come, it's like Tyson. Hoop, hoop, hoop. You knock it out every time. Hoop, hoop, hoop. You knock it out every rip, every rip. And you get stronger and stronger. And again, I'll say, I'm a, you know, one is a very enlightened, very smooth. I can be very laid back, but I also, can be a beast if I need to be, but in a righteous way and not to hurt anyone. But enough, but when I say being a beast, I mean like being aggressive enough to let nothing make you get out of character, so, so to speak. That's what I'm saying. Let nothing take you out of character. Stay within love. If you are, I'm talking about if you're righteous. If you are a righteous person that you know it to be true in your heart and one knows when they know and they know they're doing right because everything is going right because when you're doing right everything's aligned with the universe then yeah if, if some if something if an entity individual or something is making you feel inferior or making you feel self-worth or self-doubt anything if anything is making you feel like that you have to get away from it get away from it keep your spirit strong listen to your spirit your spirit never lies and real spirits recognize real spirits you know but you know it don't happen overnight you know spirituality is is really a process a really a challenging process sometimes it can be tough depending on the individual i don't like the word tough i don't like the word hard or rough but depending on the individual becoming a spiritual enlightened person takes a lot of work takes a lot of meditating takes a lot of studying takes a lot of enduring takes a lot of knowing who's who, you know, but never have hate in your heart. Like I said, no hate, no malice, no anger, but you can get angry at different things, but in a, a, a spiritual anger, you know, a righteous anger. I'm, I'm talking about that kind of anger which you, you're not gonna let nothing on the outside rob you of your joy that you have fought for. And keep fighting and listen to that spirit because that, that, you know, and I'm sure a lot of brothers and sisters like me have done this, you know, our, our spirit talk always have spoke to us. Sometimes we just don't listen. In order to listen, we got to be quiet sometimes. And y'all already know, I got a video on that. The power of a silent alpha male. And most people who are silent alpha males are usually the ones who succeed. And this is male or female.
But of course, we have to talk, you know, because you want to share that spirit and that gift with others. Because not everybody, like I said, not everybody's on that level. So that's why the great creator put uh, different brothers and sisters and, you know, maybe other people outside of brothers and sisters that's out here changing lives because words are powerful. And if you don't have a strong mind and you hear certain things and you do take things personal, it can, you know, kind of crack, could, you know, kind of bust your bubble a little bit. You know, and those are things you have to be aware of too. Sometimes you can be going full throttle, strong, everything going smooth. And it can be that one little thing that busts your bubble. But don't let it bust your bubble. Step back, like I always say, analyze it and see if it's any bad thoughts you had anything you might have done bad because those play, bad thoughts play a part too and I'm, that's the part of law of attraction we have to be careful of our thoughts especially if we're around individuals that's powerful and and think like we do you know they can people can feel your spirit even if they're not in front of you you know real spirits recognize real spirits and I've, I've noticed from results and being around other powerful brothers and sisters as yourselves and that's what makes us soldiers and soldierettes is listening to our spirit and when you can conquer all and you create a great life for yourself and you you try your best to you know enlighten others it just it just fills your life with so much joy and happiness and you know with the challenges because everybody makes mistakes you know and but like I said I don't want to keep saying too much I said on another video but your mistakes won't do nothing but make you grow they're just building blocks it's just a challenge, it's just especially if you've been through the fire, you know what it is. Listen to that spirit. And once you, you've reached that space, once you've, you've reached that point of no return and you let nothing break you of what you've built, and I'm talking about in your mind, you have reached that success. Because success is always a state of mind. It's never nothing else. When you can, you know, just not like you're not going to please everyone that's that's something we have to know too as brothers and sisters young or old you're not going to please everyone not everybody's going to overstand you sometimes people can misunderstand you, you know especially if they don't they you know it's okay I, I overstand that because especially if they don't know you if they've never met you but you know you have to if a person hasn't done anything to you you know you give them a chance you know but it's okay it's okay Never keep anger in your heart. Never keep hate in your heart. Keep pressing forward. One knows what's in their heart. And also the universe knows what's in our heart. So listen to that spirit, my brothers and sisters. Always listen to that spirit. The spirit never lies. Remember that. Especially if you're righteous. I mean truly righteous. And your motive is always love, peace, and power. With a little bit of aggression. Because we got to be... Like I said, I don't like that word tough, but when it comes to uh, spirituality and enlightening and, de and dealing with different individuals, you have to be a little tough too. And you have to balance the two because we have that thing called respect. And some people, you know, whether they're aware of it or not, they don't have, sometimes they, like I said, they don't mean to do it, maybe they're not intending to, but sometimes people say they have respect but their action shows otherwise but you know that's like like i said don't lash out if you know if you come into an individual or entity or anything around you that's making you feel some kind of way just let the universe work don't don't try to do the work for the universe because remember karma is a part of law of attraction too and when you just let the universe work you succeeded in a state of your mind and that's my real thought and that's my positive thought so success is a state of mind all day every day so keep listening to that spirit my brothers and sisters and that spirit will listen to you and make you go keep 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 flying keep flying and keep keep uh, leveling up never stop and you're doing great and you are great and this is for my brothers and my sisters young and old keep listening to that spirit and you'll keep rising and again I'll say never keep hate in your heart because when you a hero your kryptonite is self-hate remember not everybody's gonna like you you can't please everyone but don't take it personal it, it really doesn't mean that they don't like you sometimes people just don't understand you 
remember that. Remember the the place and the space that we were in at one time. So not everybody's going to be on the same level. So that's why we have to study success, the, the state of mind, and we have to listen to our spirit. And that's my thought. So I just had to get out here in nature and, whew, you know, when you had things happen to you that kind of make you want to be stagnant, maybe even kind of hurt you. Just <sighs> take a moment, breathe, take a pause for the cause. Because you got people that's connected to you that love you and maybe look up to you. So you got to be there for them. Think of the, the things that are important. And, and I say again, always remember, there are much, much major, bigger things going on in this world to get caught up in little petty things or how different individuals think about you. Just don't say anything unless it's, diff unless it's harmful to your health or your life. Then, you know, some things are to be responded to and some things are not. Some things you have to let the universe work and let the creator do his job and just keep on flowing and you focus on the things that's important when the best for you. And I want the best for all of us. I want all of us power. We are all leaders. Remember that. So y'all stay strong. Until next time, thank you for joining in. And I give honor to my family, your family, our families, my children, and mothers, and anybody that has helped me along the way, brothers and sisters online, brothers and sisters all over the world, may you have peace in your part of the world, wherever you are right now. And please, for, for your sake and your children's sake, uh, sorry, your children's sake and your family's sake, Keep that peace in your part of the world, wherever you are right now. And have a great, great, strong.